What's up guys? Did you know that you could actually service and clean Walbro fuel filters? Let's go. Without a shadow of a doubt, the Walbro fuel filters are the most common fuel filters found on two stroke and four cycle small engines. However, they are a little bit different and they're different sizes as you can tell. This is the 125 527 and this is the 125 528. Considerably larger, but however, the fuel inlet sizes are the same. But did you know you can disassemble these filters and clean them and put them back in service? All you need is a pocket screwdriver and we're gonna get right up underneath and we're gonna pop this little retaining clip off like that on both sides. And that will allow us to remove the base of the fuel filter. And we should be able to pull the rest of this off like this. Just kind of give it a little bit of a bend to get it out of the way. And when you go to reinstall it, you can always bend it right back. But anyway, here is the filter body. And as you can tell, it's in two separate pieces. And here is your filter element, which you can spray these out with uh, carb spray or some brake cleaner, as well as the pickup here. And if you look right here, and I've already taken it out, but there's a little screen sits right down in the bottom of this and this is normally what gets clogged up now i'll show you the screen on this other filter here this is the 527 i mean the 125 527 this is the smaller one usually found on uh, some of your smaller 20 cc engines and the bigger filters are normally for the higher CC engines. As we can tell, take a look at that. That filter screen is super duper fine. I think it's even finer than the screen that's down in some of your carburetors. And the way that you would clean this screen really well would be to use some brake cleaner or some carb spray and you would back flush this screen you know guys in my experience you can only clean them a couple of times until they just get so saturated with dirt and debris that they won't filtrate anymore and they'll just absolutely not filter so anyway what you want to do is you want to clean these, the, the cotton gauze, the, the main filter, and blow, the, blow them out with compressed air. And then we can reassemble these filters. Just line up with the groove here. The groove there and actually this portion of the filter really don't stop all that much it's pretty porous uh, but like I said the filter screen is what normally stops up on these filters so just go ahead and slide your filter base on and then you can slide the retaining clip down clip in and then press down right here on this hump and it'll you can get it to clip in that way just like that 
same way with this smaller one. Flip right in. Guys, I don't stock any of the uh, Zama filters, but those are also good little filters, but they're just throwaways. You can't really uh, service them. You can also service a uh, steel uh, fuel filter as well. Kind of the same process. You just pop the end of it off. And uh, I may do a video on that later on. But hey, if this little content helped you out, please give me a thumbs up and smash that like button. And while you're there, click the bell to get all my new videos. Y'all have a good rest of your day. More Medic 1.